communion, follow me. Biblical scholars have found that the call of Jesus, follow me, occurs at least 13 times in the canonical Gospels. References to following Jesus are found around 23 times. The Gospel of Mark gives us two reasons for the choice of the twelve by Jesus, to be with him and to be sent out to preach. By responding generously to the call of Jesus, the disciples encounter the Master by journeying with him. They become his companions on the way. By remaining close to him, they experience him and are formed by him. In order to encounter Jesus and build communion with him, they had to leave behind many persons and things. Peter and his brother Andrew leave their fishing nets on the shore. James and John leave their father along with the hired servants. Tax collector Matthew leaves everything in order to follow Jesus. The Gospels also mention people who rejected the call of Jesus. Luke's Gospel presents to us the response of a man called by the Master. Let me first go and bury my father, says he. So also another one desires to follow Jesus, but wants to go and bid farewell to those at home first. The one who generously responds to the call of Jesus does not have second thoughts. He is not anxious about his security. What the future holds for him is no problem. He is willing even to sacrifice family ties. Thoughts related to worldly business do not disturb him. He journeys with Jesus, experiences him deeply and lives in communion with him. Let us deal with the first subtitle, Communion, Triune God. The vision statement of our diocesan pastoral plan is worded as follows. Set ablaze by a deep personal as well as communitarian experience of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We, the church in Goa, hand in hand with all our sisters and brothers, move as a vibrant community of love towards a common goal, the building of the kingdom of God. The vision of Diocesan Pastoral Plan 2002 makes it crystal clear that anyone desiring to follow Jesus needs to encounter the triune God on this journey and set ablaze his life by a personal as well as communitarian experience of God. We can deepen our communion with God through various means. Archbishop recalls here a few simple ones. Prayer. Our personal and community prayer is one of the greatest yet simplest means to reinforce our communion with God. Prayer, says author and theologian Richard Foster, is nothing more than an ongoing and growing love relationship with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In his apostolic letter, Evangelii Gaudium, Pope Francis says, How good it is to stand before a crucifix or on our knees before the Blessed Sacrament and simply to be in His presence. How much good it does us when He once more touches our lives and impels us to share His new life. What then happens is that we speak of what we have seen and heard. We grow in communion by giving quality time to each other. So also, by remaining in the abiding presence of God, a communion with the divine is reinforced. Word of God. The Holy Bible is a powerful tool and weapon to help us grow in divine communion. The Bible speaks to us about the presence of God because it is a locus place for the encounter between God and human person. Speaking about the presence of divine in the Holy Bible, some of the church fathers have this to say. When I listen to the scriptures, I listen to Christ, says St. Ambrose. It is Christ that I see in the Bible, says Augustine. Ignorance of scriptures is ignorance of Christ, says St. Jerome. In Sacrosanctum Concilium number 7, the Church teaches us that Christ is present in fourfold manner in each Eucharistic celebration, the celebrant, the community, the species of bread and wine, 
and the word of God. Being convinced of the importance of the word of God to strengthen our communion with God, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, gave us the letter Aperut Ilis, through which he dedicated the third Sunday in ordinary time to the biblical apostolate. During our pre-synodal journey, when we were sharing and listening to one another, many shared their unhappiness over us, Catholics, lacking in the knowledge of the Word of God. It was strongly felt that the Catholic community should have the same zeal, love, and dedication that some Christians who are not Catholics manifest. Sacraments. Evelyn Underhill, a Catholic writer and a spiritual guide, writes us, God is always coming to you in sacraments. Meet and receive him there with gratitude in that sacrament. Each of the sacraments is a priceless treasure to experience the triune God. Through baptism, we become children of God. A relationship is established between God and ourselves. In the sacrament of confirmation, we are sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This relationship is substantially strengthened at the Eucharist. God feeds us on two tables, the table of the word and the table of the body and blood. But these tables become precious means to further deepen our relationship with Christ. In the anointing of the sick, we get the grace of healing and encounter Jesus, the true healer. In the holy matrimony, we receive a call to be witnesses to the life of a communion based on divine life. Through the holy orders, we receive the power to build and seal communion. With the right disposition, let us journey forward to drink from these springs of grace. Let us grow in communion with the triune God. Thank you.